So Ramesh, what are we going to learn in this video? We're going to look at how to make an LED flash. Oh, I love LEDs. That is, we want to make it blink. So we're going to make our LED flash. Um, and the LED we're going to make um, uh, flash is on port A, pin 0. Um, and the way we're going to do it, uh, obviously our microcontroller is connected to an LED and the LED is going to be interfaced to our microcontroller and we're going to, this is our port A, pin 0 LED, which is internal, but I'm just drawing it outside. This is your 3.3 volts and this is going to be your input pin right so we're going to flash this led on off and on off in that sequence oh. so that it looks like it's blinking so that's the idea let's write the code for this this is in code composer studio um, this code should be pretty straightforward we're going to initialize our our um, clock um, the uh, to 80 megahertz we're going to initialize our launch pad um, the LED function has already been written. There's an LED on and an LED off, and we'll repeatedly loop this. And so, these are functions we showed you in previous sections. Yes. So this is going to flash the LED? Yeah, let's Ooh, hope so. Ooh, that'll make me happy. So oh. let's run it. And so we're going to build it and run it. So let's just hit the debug button. That would do both. And so here's here it's ready to run. And here it's ready to run. Okay. And there's my LED right Here's there. Come on, LED Ramesh, make it flash. And I'm going to hit Ooh. the button, and it, it well, it doesn't... Ramesh, it, it's not flashing. Well, it's not flashing. Let's why not? see why not. Oh. So it turns out it is actually flashing, but it's flashing too fast. Oh. So what we'd, what we'd like to do is to write a little delay function so that we can introduce a delay between the on and off of our LED. Oh. So let's write such a function. So the idea for this function should be straightforward. We're going to write a delay function and delay uh, for uh, how much time do you want? Half a second maybe? Okay. Half a second. Um, and we're going to uh, take our input. Our input is going to be in register 1. Input is going to be in register R0, which is our first register. And that'll be the number of bus cycles I want to wait. Okay. This will be in... Bus cycles. Bus cycles. Yeah. So half a second will be 40 million. 40 million. So I'm going to give that input in bus cycles. And there's no output from this uh, other than to simply delay for the amount of time. So let's write the code. Let's call this guy delay. Delay. And uh, our code... Uh, let's write our code uh, for delay, and our function is going to have. Uh, we're going to we're going to write it so that it's going to be as precise as possible. So R not has our bus cycles, and my idea is I simply want to delay this this by. I'm going to subtract R not R not by a number and we'll figure out what this number is in just a second for now i'm going to say pound one because i want to delay it subtract one from it and then i'm going to perform some dummy operation and then i'm going to go back to my loop so i'm going to put this in a loop so i'll write this as a loop mm. and and i'm going to delay for that much amount of time again my loop right there and I'll delay for that much, just one count, and then I'm going to go branch high or same back to my loop. So um, actually, I like to give, use a better word. Uh, let's call that D loop for a delay loop. So let's call that. And so that's my delay loop. So we'll do this, and uh, eventually this counter is going to come down to zero. When it comes down to zero, I'm going to go BXLR. Now, uh, to make this really tight, what I need to understand is how much time does this loop actually take? Um, as it turns out, we know that this loop, because of the sub S and the no op operation, it actually takes four bus cycles. Okay, one for sub S, one for no op, and two for the branch high. High. That's four. Four. So, uh, so rather than con de decrement this by one, I'm going to decrement this by four four because every loop of this is actually four bus cycles so I want to loop only a fourth of that 
So that's why I made it a sub four. Uh, turns out we want to make it really precise. We also have to account for the fact that there's a BX LR here. And that's one bus cycle. One there. bus cycle. So we're going to do this. We're going to just uh, subtract from our R naught that one. But as, a, as it turns out, this sub itself needs uh, <laughs> another one. Another one. So I mean, yeah, I know. Perfect. By two. So now. Yeah. We made it as tight as possible. So let's right. let's see where we can call this function from within our uh, our existing code. So to call it, we are gonna put it just outside of after our LED is on. Yeah. We turn it on. Yeah. So, so forty we, million is a gonna, half of a second. Half okay. A second. So we're gonna put into a register R naught because that's the input to our register uh, to our subroutine. So we're gonna put a number which is forty million that's three three that's 40 million uh, we know that that's gonna be half a second and then we're gonna uh, let and then we're gonna call our function BL delay BL delay all right are we done and uh, are we done no not yet no it looks perfect so to me. let's do let's after it's off Oh. We the problem we have right now is if it's off, it'll immediately turn it back on when it goes back in the loop. So oh. we want to do another similar delay. So I we'll see. put the same code again. R not equals forty million, and then we'll call the delay again. All right, now it's done. And now it should be done. So let's build it. Let's save this and build it. And so we hit the build button. And let's see what happens now when I run this code. All right, let's so go. Here's our resume. Run oh, the button. Look at it. Look at it. And then it flashes. You're so smart, Ramesh. Ooh, flashing LEDs flashing. make me happy. Here it is. That's your, that's your flashing LED. And the key here um, to figuring this out is simply to realize that this count has to be the matching what uh, your clock speed is it has to be d driven by the clock speed and we write our delay so that it's as tight as possible um, ke in keeping with how many bus cycles various instructions take sweet 